Hello Aquarius, how are you all? Thank you for joining me. This is your love reading for January, dear Aquarius. I'm doing a quick spread uh, with the five cards, of course. Um, that's my quick spread. Let's have a look at what's going on in the month of January. Aquarius, it's almost your birth birthday, so I want to wish you a happy birthday. Wishing you all the best, of course. Let's see what's going on in love for you. So thank you, Aquarius. What's going on, Aquarius? In the now, we have the Seven of Pentacles. At the foundation, Three of Cups. Recent past, Eight of Swords. Crowning you is the Knight of Swords. The outcome is the Hanging Man. And at the foundation, we've got the Eight of Wands. Interesting, Aquarius. So where love is concerned, you're stuck. Someone, either you or the other person, are looking at where you're at, how much you've invested, how much blood, sweat and tears have gone into this investment called love. At the foundation, we've got the Three of Cups, which can also speak of being in a... Um, either dealing with a love triangle because the hanging man can also speak of a clandestine connection needing to end this um, because there's been too much sacrifice it's costing you emotionally and physically as well i mean financially as well now the three of cups at the foundation can also speak of having a reconciliation if you're at in a breakup and you don't know what's going on because what's on your mind these are harsh words with the Knight of Swords. It's like matters of truth, maybe harsh truths, recent past, Eight of Swords, feeling bound, um, blocked, okay, blocked. Too much thought, too much thought of being bound. And this could also say that some of you have connected with someone that you truly want to be with because I, the main energy here is Eight of Wands, which can mean love love uh, love connection at a distance or they're cupid's arrows so they're arrows of desire communicating right communicating your love but it could say that you're in a commitment and maybe unhappy there because we've got the three of cups some of you could also be trying to get out of this uh, prison you're trying to end a cycle it's costing you financially and you're dealing with legalities as well so we do have your energy here i do see a lot of fear or you that you're feeling bound and unhappy and aquarius does need freedom if you've been in a place where you felt that you were in a prison you're wanting to release yourself from that okay now the hanging man which is pisces so we've got strong Pisces, we've also got some earth and some fire here. If you've been sacrificing too much and not receiving back, um, some of you are wanting to close a cycle. And your love could be, let's say, um, with someone outside of your commitment. Okay. Uh, let's see what else is going on, because I feel that... Uh, even on a collective scale, I mean, for Aquarius, because we know Aquarius, they love their freedom, they love their friendships. You haven't been able to be in a connection uh, where you are also very good friends, then some of you may have realized that you're in the wrong place. Thinking of the Three of Cups in the distant past, maybe there was celebration in the past, maybe with the Three of Cups, it can speak of reconciliation, so making up, breaking up, then a third person comes into the uh, mix. Let's see what's this Three of Cups about. And we've got the King of Swords and the Six of Cups. So there's Five Cups all together here, which says to me that Five of Cups is, um, what am I saying, Six Cups and Three is Nine. <laughs> Why did I say the Five of Cups? Nine cups, nine cups can mean a wish fulfillment with a soulmate connection. Now I'm going to say some of you may have uh, all also gotten into a contract um, 
because of a money situation. Remember that the Seven of Pentacles is the Capricorn energy, which Capricorn is tough in, in the sense that Capricorn needs to be the elder, the wiser. So some of you and business, Capricorn does speak of career. So maybe you made a career out of a, a marriage King of Swords at the foundation, and this is your card, dear Aquarius. Looks like uh, you could be severing ties um, or maybe even have connected through communication. And we know that King of Swords is someone that talks, right? They don't show their emotions. Maybe you've been holding back on your real emotions and not sharing those if this is a love triangle. Um... We've got quite a few swords here, and that's your perception, which can be quite harsh. So we know that the King of Swords is someone that usually speaks truth. Now, I'm not reading reversals. So if you've kept the information about how you really feel, we do have um, the Six of Cups here, which can mean children. Some of you may have committed to someone because of children. Let's have a look at the Seven of Pentacles in now. We've got temperance, which temperance means healing or that you could have connected maybe also to someone from a different background, different upbringing. Temperance says that healing will come through and it's all happening in divine timing. Let's look at the recent past. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords? Now, of course, the what's going on in the world with the lockdown if you're wanting to travel, we know that knights take action. They're on a horse. Okay. But you have felt imprisoned here, felt like you could not move, and that's not a healthy place. Wow. For uh, Aquarius. It's interesting. Nine of Pentacles is my Virgo card, so we've also got uh, Earth here. Nine of Pentacles is the single person. So if you've been trying to get out of something, I think that you may have started all already the process of, because emotionally you may feel single anyway. So we've got the Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Um, we know that the Nine of Pentacles is strong independence. So if you were connected to someone, of course, yes, you are very independent, dear Aquarius, but if you've been connected to someone that... Um, Someone that knows their worth. Or someone, what I wanted to say is someone that wanted anything that was materialistic. Anything that was materialistic because the Nine of Pentacles can mean that as well. Someone feeling very comfortable, but emotionally they're not with someone. So could uh, work in many different ways. Let's see what that Knight of Swords is. And we've got the star card again. You are in your element. And th this is a card of hope. So you are communicating. And this could be, of course, sending messages or quick conversations coming through social media. Uh, but the star is also something at a distance. Remember that you may be having also conversations which sort of bring in the freedom. Remember that the star um, is a card of hope. And, of course, Aquarius is all about being free, doing things differently. Let's see what else we've got. Another Knight, Knight of Wands. And remember, Knight of Wands is usually my Sag card. Someone that wants to move towards what they desire. Um, and this can be, of course, someone who's traveling. This is the traveler for me. Someone who travels towards what they desire. Because I do feel you showing up in your element says that you've been in a connection where it's been cold. There hasn't been uh, much love here. Maybe the, the communication was not working for you. As I said, Aquarius needs friendship as well as connection, right? Let's see what this hanging man is. And we've got the moon, which can mean things will be known, things that were hidden. And, you know, those rose-colored glasses, we've got Pisces and the moon here. 
So the moon can also mean a very, very deep connection. You're ready to sacrifice everything for a very deep connection. And if you've been in a situation where someone has been deceptive, dear Aquarius, because you are all about truth, that's where you're ending a situation. We've got the high priestess, and the high priestess many times can be the other person, that third woman. Okay, so you're trusting your intuition. If there's been deception, um, you feel it. And we've got the death card, which means obviously an ending, a transformation. So the high priestess is Virgo Pisces. So all the signs that I've mentioned can be in this story. If this is your story, then this is your reading. If not, maybe next time. Let's see the love cards. I'm coming to meet you. Eight of Wands, I want to be with you. Obviously, someone is coming. They're traveling, right? I love, love, love you. And this is the Nine of Cups, so you're moving towards your wish fulfillment. Don't ever think that I don't love you and that I forgot you. I will always be here for you with open arms. Someone is taking action, even though they've been waiting for change. They're ready now to take action. So there is love here, and the Three of Wands, remember, someone is waiting at the dock, looking across the seas. So yes, you could be waiting for the lockdown to end. Someone is ready to take action on this, uh, on what they desire and what they love, whoever they love. All right, so Aquarius, that's what I have for you. I want to thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Okay, this is a 20, which means judgment. Um, you're being given a second chance, okay? It's time for you to start um, feeling loved up again because there's been scarcity where love is concerned. All right, love you lots. Thank you so much.